Turning now to campaign 2024, where one of the nastiest, priciest elections in the nation is right here in the tri-state area. It is the 16th congressional district where Congressman Jamal Bowman defending his seat against a primary challenge from fellow Democrat George Latimer, the Westchester County executive. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer spent the day taking the pulse of this contest. Marsha. Well, Maurice and Christine, it's a campaign that will determine the kind of Democrat voters in this district that includes the Bronx and Southern Westchester will send to Washington, uber liberal Jamal Bowman or the more moderate George Latimer. And it's so ugly and mean spirited that Bowman is trying to convince voters that lifelong Democrat Latimer is a Republican supported by Trump people. Donald Trump's mega donors are funding the attacks on Congressman Jamal Bowman. Bankrolling his opponent. Congressman Jamal Bowman is currently trailing Westchester County Executive George Latimer by 17 points. If you put much stock in a poll by the Democratic Majority for Israel, which supports Latimer, which may explain the frantic attempt by Team Bowman to paint Latimer as a Trumper. Flyers like this one, claiming Latimer is funded by pro-Trump billionaires, or this one, claiming he's tied to far-right anti-abortion groups. Here's the deal. I used to be for Jamal Bowman, but not anymore. Bowman put his extreme ideology ahead of us. One of only six Democrats to oppose the historic infrastructure bill. Just to stick it to President Biden. Latimer is hitting back, but so far has resisted reminding voters that Bowman was fined $1,000 and censured for pulling a fire alarm during a contentious government funding debate in Congress. I caught up with both men to find out what they think are the most important issues to voters. I think the domestic issues that affect the lives of people who live in this district are most important affordable housing, uh, job opportunities, uh, climate change is a general issue for most people, certainly protecting key rights like a woman's right to choose. Bowman was not anxious to speak to me, but I persevered. And after greeting supporters, he finally said... Reducing gun violence in the district is number one. Number two is inequality and racial injustice. Here's what's on voters' minds. More could be done for those persons that are on the street. Taxes. It's all about the economy? Yep. What do you want to see happen? I just want to level out. You can't stand it going up and down and up and down. For one, get equal rights around here. The environment, global warming. I think the deficit's pretty important. Integrity. Do we have any candidates with that? Uh, not a criminal. Do we have any candidates for that? What they have done for the county. Now, interestingly, the war in the Middle East wasn't top of mind for the voters I spoke to, though demonstrations do continue everywhere. The primary is June 25th, and for the record, we invited both candidates to appear on my Sunday talk show, The Point, but Mr. Bowman declined. And Well, there's still time he could change his mind if he wants to give it a second thought, right? Well, Latimer will be there, so we'll okay. see. Okay. All right. Not a criminal, as the um, <laughs> Is there a candidate out there? Out. Not a criminal. That's what we're hoping for. Thank you, Marsha.